Hey everybody, this is Steve from Open Bomb, and in this video we're going to take a look at the March 2020 release of the Inventor add-in. There's been some significant changes to the way that we uh, uh, the way that we collect part number. I just want to demonstrate the process to you, and we can look at the at the differences as we go along. I've uh, got Inventor open with the stapler. I've installed the Open Bomb add-in. I've uh, gone ahead and signed in with my credentials through the settings. And I'm going to go ahead and build a bill of material. And the way that this is done uh, in Inventor is uh, generally it's a two-step process. I'm going to create a catalog, which is going to be an item master of our parts, and then create a bomb or several bombs using that. So let's go ahead and create or update our existing uh, catalog of parts for the stapler. Now I've gone ahead and I, I went ahead and created this part prior to the video, but I'm just running this as an update right now. You can see I also added a cost column, and I went through and identified some costs for the parts. Uh, it's not necessary to provide cost for the assemblies because we're going to calculate those. So this is where you would add additional information maybe about bin locations, lead times, other things. This is data about the part and not about the about the usage. So let's go back to uh, let's go back to Inventor and create a bill of material. Now we're going to um, calculate the usage in this particular bomb. So we're going to create a new bomb. I haven't done this ahead of time, so we're doing this live. And we, we've uh, checked we're going to build a multi-level bill of material, so let's go ahead and open that up. So what we have now is a, is a multi-level bill of material for, for the stapler. What we'd like to have is more information about the parts that is stored in the catalog, and specifically cost and some other things. The way that we do that is we attach that catalog to a bill of material, and here I'm going to use the command to attach the, the catalog and I'm going to say you know you uh, delete the duplicates I, I want to use the data from the from the catalog there's more information on that on, online so what we have now is a uh, is a bill of material that is that has part number and quantity coming from CAD and part number is a, is a, a change just made a change to the way that we manage part number it's going to be much more reliable and seamless through the through this process but we now have uh, part number as well as file name. Before we had sort of a combination of the two and it worked, but this works better. So in this release you'll find uh, specifically part number and specifically file name. So okay, so let's take a look at the, we've got ahead and attached the catalog. We see we brought in some some uh, some cost information for each one of these parts and what I'm most interested in is like everyone else is what does the stapler cost? So I'm going to add a another property here to the bill of material called extended cost. Add that to my bomb and all the sublevel bombs. Okay, and now I'm going to define using the formulas in open bomb extended cost to be equal to the cost times quantity. And I'm going to check this box here that says to roll up the cost from the lower levels and you'll see in just a moment what that does. So having done that, we'll see that I now have the cost for the, assem for the assemblies has been calculated based on the cost of the lower, of the parts that are, that's coming from the catalog at the lower levels of the, uh, of the assemblies. And, um, and I've computed what that extended cost is. And now if I want to see the total cost for my stapler, I turn on uh, totals and I can see that the uh, total cost is $9.16. That might be a little bit high. Maybe I should go back and see if I can take some cost out of it. So, so what we've done here is we have installed the add-in in uh, Inventor. We uh, we signed in through our settings. We set uh, we told Inventor to build a multi-level bill of material, and we created a catalog, and then we created a, a bill of material. We went to that bill of material, um, connected the catalog used a formula to compute the extended costs and got the uh, got the total cost for the bill of material. So I hope that was helpful. We always like to hear your feedback at support at openbomb.com. Thanks.